What's going on guys? This is Larry of the Red Hot Lovers. Today we're going to be talking about date pick date pickers. Oh wow. Date pickers. Um we're gonna be using a library and you could Google this Airbnb React Dates and basically this is the uh this is where we're going to be using. It's a library that helps us pick dates. Pretty cool, neat, right? And you can have different one of them. A lot of them, okay. So you see that this is a range though. This is default date range picker. What we're going to be using is a single date picker, which is this one right here, which is a single date. You pick one and that's it. 217, 328, period, right? In the GitHub docs though, it does give us more a little bit more insight. So we are going to have to install React dates. We're also going to have to initialize it. And also if you are if you are gonna imply like yeah, this project relies on React with Styles, basically right here. This project, this project itself re relies on React with Styles. If you want to continue using CSS style sheets and classes, there is a little bit of extra step required to get these along. Basically, it's saying that if you want to customize it your own way, then use React with Styles. If you don't, then you don't have to download this, but I'm, a, I'm pretty sure you will. And you can read up on how to actually do that, but we are going to install this, but we're not going to be doing any modifications to this right now so let's get started all we need to do is yarn and react dash dates and let me actually scroll well i'm gonna need this scroll all the way down here and you're gonna see where is it a single date picker right and it gives us how to actually use it this is the minimum required to actually set up single date picker which is this right here so i'm just going to copy this and i am going to go one by one on what's going on. So right here, I'm going to be pasting it right under the second input, pasting that right there. Okay, let's go back up and actually install that component from the library we just installed. Import single date picker from React dates. Oh, I already did it. I was playing around with it, so well, I already have it there. So what we need to do is set a state for created at, and we're going to set it to moment, which moment this initializes a, a moment. Like this gives you today's date, whatever today's date is. That's what it gives you focused, which is an initialized focus to false. And I will explain what's going on here. So down here, let me get rid of all these comments. So that way you don't get confused and what's going on. All right, then. All right, date. We're going to be setting the date of whatever we want to set the date. So currently we have the date set as moment, which is today, whatever today is. So I'm going to be referencing this created at, and they're just referencing a this dot state dot date, but we called ours created at. So they're just referencing whatever today's date or whatever you want it to be. Like I said, this moment initializes today's date. So that's what we're going to be using. Next on date change, meaning once you click on a date, what needs to happen? Well, they have a little function right here that says that a date is going to come in the date that you picked and we're going to set state of created at to that specific date. So I'm just right here, created at, created at, and we're going to be setting that to date, whatever the date came in. Now focus, this is the default focused. So right now the default focus is false, meaning that there is no calendar showing up. So once you click on it, there is a, uh, this is focused now by default, we want it to be false. And that's why I said focus right here is false. Now single date, this is where right there, single, this dot state dot focus. Let's get rid of this. Now what happens when it's on focus? We can actually get rid of this ID. We don't need it. What happened when it's on focus? Well, we want, this to appear and this is giving us this so we could actually look at it a little bit closer so on focus change we are going to be setting a function inside of this but look what comes back we, we get back an object they're just destructure what destructuring it and they're getting focused out of that object now they're going to just set state to whatever focus is at that time and that is it this is all you need to actually make this work now I'm just going to save this for a bit. Now to 
like we said over here up above, we do need to initialize it. So we need to copy this import initialize over here, paste it. And also it does come with a CSS already date picker underscore date picker and CSS. And it does live in the same library we installed, which is react dates. You could use this if you want to, or you could style it the way you want to, but I'm just going to use the default. So that way it looks good right off the bat. So I'm gonna control save this. Now the problem with this is if we actually look back, we refresh this, we're going to get an error. It can't read the CSS that is coming in right now. And that's because Webpack, we configure Webpack to only read SCSS. Now you can convert this to an SCSS file that that's just too much of a hassle. What I'm going to do is add a question mark right here. And this is going to say test for any uh, file that has C, I mean SAS or SCSS or just CSS. So this is basically an or operator where it's just going to check for S CSS or just CSS. Now we save this. We do need to rerun Webpack. So let's do that right now. Control C, yes. You're going to run dev server. Click on this. Let's go over here and we do get our project back. Notice there is no uh, errors. If we inspect no errors, but the important thing is that if you go to add, we get this new thing right here, this date, which is 121. As you see right now, it is 121. And if we change that 125 and we can actually see if it's actually changing. If we inspect, we go to our components and right here we do a search for single date picker, which is right there. Single date picker, our props down on the side. Does actually go one more down. Where is it at? It doesn't live in a single date. It lives in our expense form. Yes, this one. <laughs> this is where we have all of our, uh, where is it at? States is in the expense form right here. Where is it at? Expense form. And you can see that created at right here, January 25th. That's what we picked. So we pick something else like February 20th. You'll see that that it does run in real time. Let me see another one. March 28th. Look at that. Real time. So it is grabbing the date that we want to. Now we could actually try to add it over here. And we do need to format it. And the reason why is because as you see, it gives us created at. Yes, we have our prop right here, but it's an object. And in that object, we do have the property value of, which will give you a just a look random bit of not random, but it's going to give you a long string of uh, numbers. So to avoid that, we're literally just going to down here when we created created that we're going to get rid of this, we're going to keep this, but we're going to reference this dot state state dot created at and then dot format L the way we want it. So that way this is what we get the actual date being passed in. So if we control save this now, we could actually try to test it out over here. So let's do a description house payment, real world stuff right now. Payment amount, I don't know, 1700. Uh, I do it on a very first of every month. So add expense and Voila, we get it right here, house payment. So you might might you might not be seeing this, and the reason why is because check it out. In our app.js, I think you left it at uh like five days or ten days, and the range is between from today, whatever today is, and add on five days. So if I had if I had a five days here, this will have not shown up because not, it's not in the range. That's why I set mine to hundred and I was, when I was playing around, I set it to hundred. So you might want to do the same to set it to hundred something high. So that way you can play around. Now we are somewhat done already. Well, we're actually done with the date picker. So you could actually start adding whatever you want. And when you add it, it'll go to home. You have the expense list right here. You go, you got a, <clears throat> what's it called? You could uh, filter, um, but there is one thing I want to do. So in the date picker, 
You see, we get two two calendars. I don't like that. I only like to have one one calendar. All right, one one month per month. You got two months right now. We got only, I only want one, and you can't pick dates from the past. Now, if you go in here in our single date picker, all the way down. Where's our single date? A little bit more up. There it is. Single date picker. You have all of these options, and they're optional. You don't have to have them, but these are options that you can have to to uh, I guess make your calendar a little bit better. And there's a ton of ton a ton of uh, options you could do. Uh, in here, where are we at? On the expense form, we're gonna add two more options. Okay. Or two more props, I should say. Two more props. I'm going to add number of months, and I'm going to set this equal to one. Now, this is literally the number of one months you could have showing up. Right now, we have two months showing up. I only want one. You could make this 24 if you wanted to and uh, have, have 24 months showing up. I'm pretty sure next year as well. But I only want one. The next prop I'm going to add is, is outside range now this is what's going to give us that that uh the ability to actually choose dates from the past okay so what we do in here we actually pass in a function which is going to be empty and i'm literally just going to return false and that is it this will this will tell the calendar hey well we want to pick dates from the past now we only got one month and we could also pick dates from the past as well okay which is pretty sweet so that that was it guys this is i just want to add these two more months go in here try to add whatever you want you have a lot of things this disable scroll uh first day of the week i don't know i don't even know most of the what i don't even know what most of these things do but they're here for a reason some people might have wanted it i have no i have no idea so that is it for this video, guys. Thank you for so much for watching. And again, guys, I hope you actually learned something today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, and please consider subscribing if you, ha if you haven't. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.